Hello and welcome back to Quick Tips with Blitz, the series where I tell you a tip and hopefully it can help you. I thought today we should take a look at how to combine your newer road plates and also your older ones together. Let's get started with today's video and let's go. So recently I bought some of these new LEGO road plates and they're honestly pretty good. I went to build them and then went to go place them in my city until I realized I have way too many of these. How does that happen? Wait a minute, huh? So the reason why you might want to do this is some sections of cities might have bigger roads and some might have smaller and I think it's good to represent both ways to maybe get some more diversity in your city so one of the first ways I think you could be doing this is lining them up with the regular road plates just in the middle because this is kind of one of the easiest ways you can do this it kind of I, I think it really works really well cars can actually flow from one side to the other pretty easily and all you have to do is just take some of those plates at the sides maybe put sidewalks and maybe try and tile that I think that would look really good if you did that I forgot to mention this but it provides enough space for you to put a road plate beside that little sidewalk you just put there so you can see it here in the city layout what I just put there and yeah and then it's pretty easy. You can just put your buildings beside there. You can put your modulars, like something like this. You can put that there. That would work pretty well. There are tons of things that could work in a city like that. And I think it's just a really good strategy. This is actually also pretty easy. This is, all you have to do is create some sort of a ramp at the side. I think a strategy like this could be used if you have like a half building, something like the assembly square. Those things are kind of annoying just because sometimes you have like an empty space there or you don't know what to do because your table's just a bit too big for that. All you have to do is you can place your road plates in between there and I think it creates a pretty nice alleyway. Basically just take some of those ramps that come in the set and build some sort of thing that allows the cars to go up above the ramp and maybe cross to the road somehow. Like I, I built something like this, you can copy it if you like or design your own because yours will probably look better. You could also use pieces like this. This is also a really nice one to use. I love using this in my older layout. I don't really have it in this one right here, but I think this is also a really good one if you're trying to get smaller roads in your city. So there you go. Those are some ways you can use your road plates with your older road plates and I think definitely people can um, improve on some of these techniques and make them a lot better. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on your way out. Goodbye and have a good day.